Could this be an actual prehistoric rock art depiction of Cubi Eronius? This photograph was shared by the Nicaraguan environmentalist group Guarda Barranco. According to paleontologist Ramiro Garcia Vázquez, it has not yet been confirmed to be authentic, but if it is, it would be an incredible example of prehistoric rock art depicting an extinct species. The figure seems to represent an elephant-like beast, and we know that Central America was inhabited by such animals during the Pleistocene and the early Holocene, including the Columbian mammoth, which was a true elephant, and the Gonfotiers, which were a related family of elephant-like creatures. The petroglyph is very stylized, but we can tell it's probably not a mammoth because it lacks the high shoulder hump and bowed head and the iconic curved tusks of the mammoth. Instead, it closely resembles the Gonfotier Cubieronius, which had a straighter back, a flatter skull, and straighter tusks that were strangely spiraled. Fossil remains of this beast have been widely found from the southern US to Chile in a variety of habitats, and that includes also Nicaragua. There's been some debate historically as to whether Cubieronius coexisted with humans or not. Some studies have estimated the date of extinction at around 40,000 years ago, which is prior to known human arrival to the Americas. However, later studies, based on new findings, suggest that Cubieronius may have survived well into the late Pleistocene, and Ramiro Garcia Vázquez suggests that this rock art could be as recent as 8,000 years old, which would speak of late survival into the Holocene. Either that or the Cubieronius themselves had artistic tendencies. Maybe one day they were like, Gonfotiers never forget, but let's make sure nobody else does. Remember kids, what Hodari says today, paleontology will say tomorrow. By the way, Vasquez has just published a book on Nicaraguan paleontology that will soon be available in digital form, so do keep an eye out for that. I must note, however, that the petroglyph was reported after the book was completed, so unfortunately it isn't mentioned. But who knows, maybe a future edition. This would not be the first example of prehistoric art depicting extinct megafauna in Central America. This little sculpture of a bison was found in Costa Rica, and bison would have been found in Nicaragua too. And you know what else is in Nicaragua? Freshwater sharks. That's right, once considered to be a separate species, they are now known to be bull sharks that swim into the Nicaragua lake system via the San Juan River, all the way from the sea. These sharks are highly aggressive and there is a case known of a horse that was attacked by a bull shark while crossing a river in Australia, so we can imagine bison and even Cubieronius may have had their unpleasant shark encounters at Lake Nicaragua, which was already a thing in the late Pleistocene. Hopefully more will be revealed soon about this petroglyph and about Central America's ancient fauna. And when that happens, I will be ready to sink my teeth in it. Until then, never lose that sense of wonder.